our people, when they were returning home, they came across the mesa up here, and as they came out over the ridge, they could see down here in this area, the red cliffs. And they were so happy to be returning home after being in captivity for four to five years. <laughs> We are now in a location that is very significant to the uh, history of our people, the Dene and their long walk. This would be uh, around the uh, 1868. After the uh, treaty was signed in August of 1868, August the 12th, and it was not ratified in the halls of Congress until about the uh, 1st of June. But uh, when our people were then allowed to return home, they pretty much followed the, the where the railroad track is now south of the Mount Taylor uh, and uh, over here towards the present-day Grant, New Mexico. But uh, they came to this area, and as I mentioned in uh, other videos, a lot of the uh, winter stories in that, that are talked about takes place in this area. So here in this area, we have a lot of uh, black lava rock, but also there's red lava rock further to the uh, east here. But uh, our people, when they were returning home, they came across the mesa up here, and as they came out over the ridge, they could see down here in this area, the red cliffs. And they were so happy to be returning home after being in captivity for four to five years. And uh, we were told that many of them that could make their prayer offerings of uh, corn or white cornmeal, uh, or yellow corn meal or corn pollen. They made their offerings and they were, were grateful for being allowed to return home and they were crying and they ate the dirt. And this place is called Atahuizhong. Atahuizhong would pr translate probably to mean ahead is beauty. Or the greater and deeper meaning is ahead is joy, ahead is happiness, ahead is confidence, ahead is peace. And so it was that uh, our people were so grateful to be returning home. And uh, they were making the walk that they were forced to make when they were placed in captivity over at Fort Sumner. And so the treaty being signed and being able to return to a portion of their homeland, they walked down to this area. As uh, our Dibne, our people, when they were in captivity for those uh, four years, uh, so many of the area in that that they had occupied before were explored for various uh, minerals uh, Which would be silver mining or gold mining and so on but uh, They weren't able to find a lot of that down in this area. So they gave that land back to the Dene. but uh, the lands that are probably more in Colorado now which would be present-day Durango tell you right in those areas there are, are silver mines and then of course a lot of farming area in that over towards the uh, uh, the Loris area and so the people then returned and after the uh, land was uh, surveyed and so on and, to be, and the area that were found that had not very much uh, natural resources and that were allowed to be lands that are Navajo people that are Ardenne would be returning to and so this here is in many ways for many years was considered a very sacred place because our people said shed so many tears when they saw the red cliff up ahead and they said which means ahead is beauty ahead is joy happiness confidence and peace and so my great grandmother she was just a young girl when she made that walk back with her family with not very many of her family members because uh, many of them perished while they were in captivity. And uh, she would cry, actually, when she would recall telling us this would be in the 1940s, and she was quite uh, elderly, elderly at that time as well. And so, Atahojo is a very special place to be remembered by our people and uh, the stories that go along with it. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I began for you.